Hello, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about SCSIM tips and tricks. And today we're going to talk about how to manage distribution point content. Uh, now that we've got the environment set up, we've got your, you know, your distribution point, your, your primary site configured, um, you know, you've got your SQL installed, and you've got all of the other uh, W stuff and all your stuff. Now it's time to start digging into how to manage your devices in your environment. So I thought I'd start with your um, management distribution point and, and how to manage those content. So with that, let's get started. So in the SDCM environment, you'll have a distribution point um, and, uh, and you can have many. In my lab environment, I just have one, uh, but you may have multiple distribution points. And with that, every time you create an application or a software update, a package or any package related, um, you're going to need to distribute that to your um, distribution points. Um, so um, there's one, uh, and I just kind of want to go over like how you can check that. So here's your distribution point configuration status under monitoring. And as you can see, I have a yellow here, which is a warning that's telling me that uh, we have a mismatch between the package library, what's in the package library versus what's in WMI. Uh, this is a very common. This is a very common error. You see this all the time in SCCM, and the reason you see that error is because sometimes you'll distribute the content, and for whatever reason, that DP wasn't online, or there was a glitch, or something happened, and it just didn't quite fully get on there. Maybe it failed for some reason. Blah blah blah. Um, and so everything that's uh, every con every package that you have will reside in the package library as well as in WMI. So sometimes you'll see that conflict, there'll be a mismatch. So they have to match, they have to be equal. So I thought I'd probably go over how to fix these errors um, when you see them. Uh, there is a script that you can, it, from Microsoft, it will allow you to run a script to kind of check the WMI entries and compare them with what you have in SCCM and remove those extra injuries. Um, however, sometimes this doesn't always work. And so sometimes you have to resort to more of a manual method, uh, which I'm gonna show you, but there's a script that you can run and I'll put the contents of that script in the contents uh, in the comment section below uh, if you want to uh, review the script and what have you run it. Uh, but it works every single time. So with that, we're gonna get started. So we know we have an error running here. So what I'm gonna do since this, this server is a part, also a distribution point, so what I want to do is I want to find out which one has a mismatch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch my PowerShell as administrator. And then I'm going to run the script. Let me get the script here. Okay. So I found my script, so I went ahead and opened up the uh, PowerShell ISE, and there's a script, and it's going to go ahead and look through to see uh, which items are in WMI and which items are in the package library. So when I run the script, it's going to tell me that I have a package ID that's, that's in the content library, but it's not in the WMI. So uh, there's two ways that I can go about, or, or you can have stuff that's in WMI, but not in the package library. So if it's not in the, um, if it's in WMI but not in package library, then what I would do is go into WMI and clean that out, uh, delete it. So, um, uh, you know, especially if the package doesn't exist anymore or what have you, or you can have a package that's in the library but not in WMI. So if it's not in the WMI, then obviously you would delete the package library INI file. Uh, but in my case, I know that this package is this, so I can do one of two things in my case here is I can either delete the um, if, uh, delete the um, package library. So if I go to uh, package library, as you can see, if I take this, uh, I'm gonna copy and search my package library. See, it's, it's, oh, the items are in the, okay, so yeah, so it's not in the package library. I misread that. So it's basically, it's not in the package library, but it is in WMI. So I can do two, two things here in this case. 
I can redistribute that package so that it now it will get back on a distribution point or um, I delete it from WMI. But in this case, I'm just gonna redistribute the package. Now, if you don't have that package anymore and someone had deleted it or got removed and somehow it just, it just got, it got stuck in, it's, it's not in here, but it's still stuck in WMI, then you're gonna have to delete that. Um, so the way you, so I'm just gonna show you how to do that part first. Um, so, you, so, so in order to, to, um, to do that, you're gonna need to go into w, WMI, you go to Windows, System 32, WMI, there it is. And you're gonna scroll down so you get to And then you want to connect. Then instead of connecting to this, you're going to connect to SCCMDP. And then you're going to um, open instance. And then you're going to open up a path. You're going to want to put the object path in here. Open. Oh, I had a space in there. Important not to have those spaces. Okay, so now here you go. And then what you want to do is you want to click on instances and there's all your package IDs. So when I scroll down, I'll see that package ID number. And, and there it is. So I can either delete it here. Um, in this case, I don't want to do that because I know I have this package. So I'm just going to redistribute this package and then that'll match. So if you didn't have that package and it no longer exists anymore, then you just highlight the one you want here and then click delete. And then what you're gonna have to do after you delete that, you're gonna have to rerun. Once you've done this, which I'm not gonna do this in my case, you're gonna have to go to the um, schedule task, task scheduler, and inside task scheduler, you're going to see content validation. So once you clean it up out of either the package library or the WMI, you're going to want to remove a rerun this content validation. Once you do that, it'll, it'll be green. It'll turn green again. And so when you go back in here, it'll have a green status now because now they match. So I just wanted to give you a little tips and tricks on, you know, how to, clean up some of these warnings when you see them because it's very common and if, if you like this video give it a thumbs up um, if there's something that you would like to see some other tips and tricks or some features you want me to review on this channel let me know in the comment section below and I'll create a video and show them to you um, so again thanks for watching have a great day thanks bye bye